Hey, are you all starting to get worried? You ain't gonna be able to fill up your cars much longer because of the, all these high gas prices? 419, 429, five, six bucks, whatever else. What do you think the truckers are doing right now with the gas prices on diesel are at five, between five and six dollars a gallon on these big diesel trucks? What do you think is taking place? Place. I'm gonna tell you what's taking place. Right now, I deliver, I'm a delivery driver, all right? And I deliver to a couple of different uh, independent truck drivers. And they've been telling me that they've been working on choosing what loads they're gonna take that pays the most so they can make the most money because it's costing them an arm, leg, and the other arm and leg to fill up their trucks. You got to figure these big rigs, folks. In case you don't know, have usually two tanks. They're 120 gallons a piece. All right, so that's 240 gallons at a base price of five dollars for diesel. All right, that's 1,200 bucks right there that comes out of whatever they're getting paid to take the load from point A to point B. They're picking and choosing. I've been told that personally, folks. Now, what does that mean for me and you? Well, a lot of loads are setting because they're not paying them enough to run those loads. For us, well, you know, you got all these container ships that are still setting out there off the coast, right? They can unload them all they want. If they ain't got people to move them, it's just going to set there. It's not going to get moved. You're going to see more shortages coming. You're going to see higher prices in stores because some of these companies are going to have to start paying more for to these truck drivers than what they're... You know, we used to paying just for the fact of the price of diesel fuel. Now, you also got to remember, there's 3.5 million truck drivers in the United States. There's 385,000 independent truck drivers in the United States. You take half of that 385,000 out of the equation on shortages that we already have on truck drivers. And what do you think we're going to end up with, folks? A nightmare. Forget about having enough gas to be able to afford gas to get to your, your local stores and, and everything else because they're not going to have the goods in there because the goods aren't going to be moved. This is a huge ripple effect that our lovely government has put us into. We need to start drilling in this country and drilling more. We need to produce our own fuel, our own natural gas, as much as possible so we don't have to rely on all these cronies from all these other countries. Period. End of conversation. And I'm sorry if I step on a few toes or whatever, but it's, this is the name of the game, folks. It's game time. What are we going to do to try to get out of this situation? All we keep hearing about is they want to buy oil from Venezuela. They want to buy oil from Iran. You know, they turned off the stuff from Russia, but we're now we're going to the other countries that personally hate us. I don't understand it, folks. I don't get what's going on in this country, but I'm telling you, mark my words, folks, the higher that diesel price goes, yes, the gas price goes up. It's hurting you in the pocketbooks. But the higher that diesel price goes, it's going to be bad news for a lot of people out there. And I'm telling you, if you don't start prepping, you don't start stocking up on all your different prepping supplies from your food, from water, from a medical, from gear, whatever it may be, you better be doing it now because there's going to come a time if this keeps going, mark my words, folks, if this keeps going on the same track and we can't get this whole thing straightened out, it's going to be a bad day in a neighborhood for people that aren't prepared. And you need to be prepared for that also because then the chaos is going to start. So the key here is get out there, get prepping, do what you have to do because Lord only knows how long this is going to be going on. And Lord only knows what's going to take place. And Lord only knows when the end is in sight. Because right now, folks, the wave hit the boat. She's freaking sinking. All right? Listen up, folks, because it's not looking good. 
I want to bring you information. I told you how you need to be getting prepared. I told you that you need to do this now. Heed my warning, folks. This isn't something to play around with. Watch that diesel price. The higher it climbs, the less good you're going to have to be able to buy for you and your families. It will come. Trust me. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I thank you for joining me on this video today. Do me a favor, share this video with all your friends and family because people need to wake up and they need to smell the roses on what's truly going on. So until next time, folks, I hope you all stay safe. You better be prepping. You better be topping off everything you got because it's gonna come a time in the near future if we stay on this track, what you have, is all you're going to be able to get. Till next time, folks. I'll catch all of you on the flip side.